What happens if something unexpected causes the containerized process to fail? Let's run another container named O'Reilly Time Bomb, which is also a Ruby web server. This containerized process is programmed to exit immediately if we access the exposed endpoint. Let's run it. If we curl the endpoint, we should see the application quit unexpectedly. And as you can see in the logs, the application exited. If we run docker ps, we no longer see that our container is running. We can use the restart policy flag when running our container to automatically cause it to restart if it exits. The restart policy flag takes a number of arguments. We can specify always, which means that docker will always restart the container when it exits. We can also specify unless stopped, which will only restart the container if it exits unexpectedly. Finally, we can use the on failure policy which will only restart the container if it exits with a non-zero code. Let's start a new container with the restart policy set to unless stopped. Let's curl the endpoint once again. Let's check docker ps, and we should see that the process is restarted this time. And there it is, the process has been up for nine seconds, which is about when we stopped it. Docker will keep restarting the container every time it exits. The only way to make the container not restart automatically is to explicitly kill it or stop it ourselves. We see that now that we've killed it, it hasn't been restarted and the container no longer shows up when we run docker ps. We can remove the stopped container from the system by running the command docker rm.